I must apologize for the size of this room, gentlemen. It's, it's, it's uh, all I can do on such short notice. Jim Richardson. The press secretary? Yes. Uh, perhaps we can give him a few more minutes. General, I've been meaning to ask you, have you heard anything about the Nuclear Strike Force Tactical Training Command meeting? You mean Operation Nishvik? That's right. Not really. I've been following the personnel proficiency planning for Pago Pago Paratroop Platoon patrols. Oh, Operation... <laughs> What's the poop on? <laughs> Moving well. Did somebody mention misfits? No. Well, then, uh, Mishkonk must be pretty well wrapped up. Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, now that we're all here, I'd like to turn the meeting over to Dr. Morris. Doctor? Thank you, Captain. Major. Uh, pardon me? Never mind. <clears throat> well, as um, I'm sure you're well aware, um, this tomato problem has caused considerable concern within the scientific community. Scientists from throughout the uh, nation have uh, directed their attention to this very vexing problem with only limited success. However, with the help of Dr. Fuji Nokatafa, we believe we've made a breakthrough. Gentlemen, may I present Dr. Nokatafa? How do you do, Doctor? Very well, thank you. Uh, Dr. Nokatafa, would you uh, please explain the project to the gentleman? Gentlemen, what we have developed is, in essence, a half-man, half-robot, a very sophisticated combination of human intelligence and superhuman powers, which we are confident will result in the ultimate destruction of the enemy. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nakapapa. Are there any comments, gentlemen? Uh, Mr. Platt. As head of the Federal Intelligence Agency, I certainly don't mean to question the background of these fine gentlemen. But frankly, I don't think the answer to this problem lies in trinkets and gadgets. This is man versus vegetable. Technically, sir, tomatoes are fags. He means fruits. Ah, fruits. You see what I mean? Mr. Dixon. I've been authorized to assign you four of my best agents. Gentlemen, with your permission, I'd like to introduce Mr. Dixon to his operatives. That's fine, Mr. Platt. In the meantime, the rest of us will accompany the doctors down to view a demonstration of the latest anti-tomato project. We'll be going outside, Mr. Dixon. You better bring your coat. There's a little jap in the air. He needs nip. <laughs> Thank you. 